Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw... Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Warsaw! Well, the time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, 
Now forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None? Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators. He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? Yes, I feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warszawa, Premia Terora, Zakonzlois. Idi na chuj! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Arrestowat. Great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel. The Lautmann. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. I didn't dare suggest it myself. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I'm going to take a look around. Pardon me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment. To arrest them all, book them, interrogate them. Gospody will be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Polyak, or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, scrum! Dovai. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Do you realize blood is about to be spilled? And that it might be mine? Fuck off! Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to f What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Ki I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. 
They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves.
Name? Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? What are you staring at, Genev? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. For being innocent. Same as all of us. Well? Are you from somebody? My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a Thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toasts. Welcome to Warsaw. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? You'd better tell me if you managed to get rid of your ammunition. If I hadn't, I'd already be locked up at the Citadel. I admit your behavior did successfully distract the Ruskies. <sighs> You're welcome. All right, then. What's such a gorgeous, hairy mug doing in a crummy place like this? We've got a little time to kill. Maybe now you can tell me more about yourself. You seem to know your way around this setting. You have been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. Oh, 
what exactly do your friends do? I'd be glad to tell you, over coffee and jam donuts. I'm afraid all these screws might have more questions and want to keep you here longer. Then you won't just miss out on the pastries, but also an adventure worthy of a great cause. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Cholsky, this yours? That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Thank you.
I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? I'm curious myself. I haven't had a chance to find out. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturge. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there, among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad to. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? I took a short trip to a Warsaw jail. What? Are you joking? During the funeral? Are you alright? Everything's fine, don't worry. Have you written to Mother? Yes, but what can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine. Let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better, and definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. I've come back with two saditors. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty, never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Farewell, father. Am I intruding?
What do you want? <laughs> well, what do people come to funerals for? I came to pay my respects to the dead. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Viktor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. I haven't had time to think about it. I understand. I hope you'll find some reason to stay here a little longer. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name is Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Great grandmother Yusefina. A thaumaturge. Grandpa and you call him a thaumaturge. I barely remember him. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros post-mortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. I can sort it out, but it might cause you some trouble. It's not worth getting your hands dirty over. Get out of here! Or I might decide you're attacking an Imperial official, and you'll wake up tomorrow in the Citadel. Are you threatening me, Judge? I'm actually spurring you from him. Would you rather try your luck with a Taumaturge? 
Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. A trifle jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Ha, huh. how are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasios. It was special. 
Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. How did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to, and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, We've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So? To an easy death, as Stasha and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Pistachio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? At the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, uncle? 
He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. So, shall we collect our inheritance? You'll all have to wait for me a moment yet. All right, but hurry up.
I am ready, Mr. Shulsky. I only need all of you to be present. Can we start reading your father's will? Yes, let his will be done. Begin. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulzka. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor, be serious. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps. In all that confusion? But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. 
with a tomato just happened to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. A building? It collapsed on top of him? How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. Then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Śródmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. So that's where it is. I've seen this place. I'd rather not imagine what condition you found Father in there. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. How typical of a sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined in Yejitsas, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the grimoire. What do you intend to do? Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. And Mordechai Chayat? Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with Father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? And where are Father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or Uncle, or Detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by.
The most important thing is you're here now. 